on, what? Rump steak. Yeah. Of, of gone in the caterpillar. Said to her face. Well, we're going to put them up for adoption. Can't we keep them all? <laughs> to my channel and welcome to today's video I mean if it's not very very obvious what we're doing today we are doing caterpillar versus caterpillar <laughs> caterpillar versus caterpillar versus caterpillar versus caterpillar versus caterpillar like taste a... test Ooh. if you've been living under a rock you won't know that the last week um <laughs> Audi and M&S have blown up in terms of their caterpillar wars so yeah. M&S has Colin the caterpillar cake which is um which it's known for. <laughs> the original. The OG. Yeah. And Audi has Cuthbert the Caterpillar cake, which unfortunately they're not currently selling because yeah. it's a seasonal product because obviously birthdays are just seasonal. Obviously. Only people only get born at certain times at of the year. Certain, yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of a shame, but what I do know is Audi tweeted and Facebooked out saying they would like to join forces with MS now mm. rather than fight. And they're going to be releasing a special edition Cuthbert Caterpillar next month. So as soon as that comes out, we'll be getting it. Of course. And then all proceeds, all profit proceeds are going to go straight to different cancer charities. So do you know what? It all kicked off. The drama was huge. Yeah. If anything, it was a very good publicity stunt. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, we, we, we kind of, you're looking at it and you're going, this isn't real, this is publicity, but you're still talking about it. Yeah. I genuinely did not realise until now that everyone does a caterpillar cake. We're going to taste test them all today and even more exciting, it's going to be a blindfolded taste test. Not done one of them for a while. Much fairer. Yeah. If I wear a blindfold and taste them all and judge them specifically on texture, taste, and things like that, yeah. and then Lawrence is also going to taste them because it's good to have two. But I will know, I will know, know which, which, which one it is. We're going to get in with the taste test now. If you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you like this kind of video and you want to join our wonderful community here on YouTube, Make sure you do subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and join us. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. Okay, we're going to quickly run through the names and prices of each one. First one we have over here on the left is the Asta. And this is Clyde. You have to tell me which name you prefer. Clyde the Caterpillar. I like that name. Clyde's good. Clyde's good. Yeah. So Clyde the Caterpillar. Clyde has a green face. Clyde looks like he's seen things in his life. I like the packaging. It's I like cute. the packaging. It's quite, yeah, it is cute. cute. Clyde serves 12 and you can find Clyde in Asda. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's that sound like? Oh, from Monsters Inc. The, um, or um, uh, the pizza Simps guy. Simpsons, yeah. We have Charlie the Caterpillar from the co-op. Yes. Ah! I had no idea the co-op did one, but apparently they do. Um, Charlie the Caterpillar is actually the top price along with Colin. Seven pound. Seven pound. So mm. co-op is a bit pricey, isn't it? But we like the co-op. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I, 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 I'm not so keen on the packaging. Okay. I'm not really. But it's just a photo of Charlie the Caterpillar with some like other bits made icing. out of icing and sweets. Fine. It's all right. It's passable, but I, I, I just, I like. Packaging isn't as nice. I like cute cartoons. Agreed. Right. Morrison's. Morrison's does Morris. The caterpillar cake, Morris. I'm, I'm not gonna, keen on the name. I'm docking it a point because it doesn't alliterate. It's not a. K. I agree with that. And um, the and the packaging, packaging again is so. Poor. It's uh, what's it's like. Uh, it's very functional. Yeah. But it's not very exciting. Fun. No, yeah, but I do. Fun. I do like his eyes. They're a bit googly. Yeah. We like googly eyes. And then we've got the infamous Colin. I do like Colin the Caterpillar um, packaging. I do. Yeah, it's good. Like the illustrations. Um, yeah. I... So it looks almost like Quentin Blake. It does. Yep. I was going to say it looks like it's from a Roald Dahl book. Yeah. Have to say, image wise, for our first impressions of the Colin is he does, he, she does look a lot more and premium than all the others. Yeah, he has like this kind of like shape to him. Yeah. Like, like he thick, could... thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Whereas the others are kind of, they're, they're really, they are cylindrical, but they've got like lumps. Blobs. Um, portions, 10, okay. Colin was also top of the price range, seven pound. Yeah. So we've got Tesco, Cali the Caterpillar cake. So obviously 
Um, they did have curly in the store, but yeah. I went for curly. They, well, yeah, we had to mix it up. Um, I mean, I, I have my own opinions about whether it's completely necessary to make a totally pink I know. one. By the by, it's got some really cool different kind of thing. It's got little sugar hearts all over it, hundreds and thousands instead of Smarties. The packaging, I'd say, is only a little bit better than the Morrisons because it does have these yeah this sort of artwork on it i i agree i find it strange that they've made a fully pink one i had to get her though her slash him it could be a boy because it's exactly the same flavor and make as uh curly from tesco so it's oh. not gonna be a taste difference okay, but cool. also i don't know like some kids just love pink love 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 pink that is true so there are pink versions out there girl boy some kids e love pink. exactly exactly right so and then we have um, I think this is this is probably my third favourite in the packaging department after Asta and M&S. This is Sainsbury's. It's What's got a it cute, called? cute little. He looks like the one from uh, Bugs Life. Yeah, Bugs Life, the caterpillar, the German caterpillar. Yeah. Um, so this is six pound regularly, but because it had a minor bit of a crease in the, the packaging, it was down to five pounds. So. Not bad. What's what's the wriggles? Wiggles, wiggles. Wiggles the caterpillar. So wiggles. 14. So how, why is wiggles? Again, Make I'm going to dock it a point. Not that we're counting points at this point, but no. you know, just but like, just make like it wiggles. begin with. I like wiggles. <laughs> I had a wiggles the cake growing up once. You had one of these. Yeah, Sainsbury's. Well. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Didn't get a Colin. Didn't get a Colin. Got the Sainsbury's one. Did have a damaged box. No, probably. Oh. I don't know, might have. Maybe. Maybe. I, I have everything that I had growing up was off the mouldy shelves, so. Well, that's, you know, good It's the way parents. we live now. It's the way we live. Right, anyway, let's get on with the tasting. How exciting. I'm going to put my blindfold on and Lawrence is going to bring out all the uh, cakes. Ready when you are. All right, so I've, I've pre-cut them all. Okay. Um, and they are numbered, but... That's just so that I know which one's which. But let's start off with this one here. Put your hand out. I'll put, there you go. Oh, it feels a bit sticky. It feels moist. Mm. That's a good sign. We don't want a dry cake. This is so fun. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm. Good crunch. Yeah? Mm. Actually, that is really good. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Oh, I like that. Do you know what? I've never had any of these apart from the Sainsbury's one mm -hmm. like 15 years ago. But we got a Yule Log thing from Tesco at Christmas and that tastes similar. Mmm. Okay. So I wonder if it's that Tesco. Is good. That is good. Isn't it good? Mm. Texture wise, I think it's really nice. Got a nice crunch from the outside. Very moist. Um, really tastes like the cake and the buttercream sections. Yeah. I'm going to give that. Uh, I didn't get too much on the top, but maybe that's because we ate from the butt. We're, we're eating the butt first. Rump steak yeah. of, of Con in the Caterpillar. <laughs> I'm going to give it... It's hard when you score the first one because you is. don't know what's coming. There's, no, there's nothing to benchmark it against. I think it's really nice. I would 100% buy it again. Mm. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Wow, you've not given yourself too much room there if the other ones are better. I'll give an 8. I'll give an 8. I think that's wise. I agree, and to be honest, if I were marking it, I'd give it an 8 too. It had good texture, good taste. Yeah. And it wasn't dry. Right, so that's that one. I liked that. I okay. that. Now, okay, this one is right in front of you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can feel Smarties. Oh, have a big old bite of that one. Hmm. Hmm, it's okay. Yeah. A I... little bit dry. Is it? Well, compared to the other one, it's dry. Yeah. It's like drier. It's not um, dry, mm. but I like the um, the buttercream is really um, like thick and creamy, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I do really like that. Again, there was like a good proportion of buttercream against the cake. So good texture, good good taste actually. Really nice and chocolatey. Yeah. Just a tiny bit drier than the one I had before. So I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'd agree with you. Like I think for me, the real strong part of that one was. The buttercream was really good. Yeah. And there was a nice kind of crispness to the outside. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll agree with you there. This one, right in front of you. 
feels good. There's yeah. lots of dots on it. That's a good sign. Just to um, let you all know, the none of this will go to waste. None of this cake. We have people lining up <laughs> to take these off of us. Who wouldn't so. be? Who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? Right, ready? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Really tastes like a mini roll. Does it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say, texture-wise, it's not crunchy enough for me. It's actually quite soft. Like, it's mm. so cakey and like creamy in the middle. Mm -hmm. You don't get much, like, um, like the cake isn't like sturdy enough. Mm. But, agree. really nice. Not as premium tasting, mm. not gonna lie. Okay. I don't know, it just tastes a little bit more budget. I don't know why. Right. I think because the chocolate isn't as rich. Okay, so what's your? I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. It was good, I would enjoy it at a party. Yep. But out of that and the first one, I would buy the first one. Right. <clears throat> Let's go with this one. Oh, that's a big bit. Chonky, isn't it? That is chonky. Right. Go on then, have a big old... Chonky have a big old butt. Big bite of that butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm-mm. I -mm. need... Ugh, what the hell? Did you get a foot in there? You might have had a foot in there. Oh, really? Yeah. That's horrible. You don't like the foot? No, is it white chocolate? It might be white chocolate, it might be icing, I don't know. I think it's icing, it's like, not good. <laughs> Sorry, but that icing <laughs> foot is, it's not nice. It's really like, intensely sugary. Mm. I can barely taste the buttercream. It's just like, it's good, it's, it's, it's moist, but I can't taste like, the cake, then the bit of buttercream, then the bit of cake, you know, that like swirly whirly. Mm. I, I do know what you mean by though by the by the way that do you yeah do you and like I can't it? decide whether I I I don't dislike it in a weird way it almost has a bit of a homemade quality to it it I does think. a little bit actually in the flavour which makes me like it right no I'm not saying I like it better or less or whatever than any of the others but I'm I don't dislike <laughs> it I don't I don't hate it. I, it was really out of all of them, really not my favourite. Mm. I'm going to go with six. The foot just put me off. Yeah, you've you, you got, you got, got a foot in your mouth. foot in my mouth. Go on then. Oh, this is crumbly. Yeah, this one's oh, really breaking crumbly. apart a little bit. Mm. Mm, I like that. I really like that. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Good texture, mm. good chocolate flavour, lots of thick crunchy bits on the outside. I like it, would buy again. The sponge there, mm. it's not dry, but mm. it's dry enough that you do get a difference in texture Yes. between the sponge and the buttercream. Agreed. And the flavour of both is really good. Yeah. So I, I quite like that one to be honest. Yeah, I do. An eight. I'm gonna go eight. with an eight. Actually, I'm gonna go eight and a half. Oh! I'm gonna go eight and a half. Wow. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. Okay. Fine. Well, this feels like a big old chunky slice again. Yeah, it's big fat, big fat big caterpillar butt. No feet on that one. That is really nice. Yeah? Mm. I like that, it's quite rich. Like the buttercream bit. It's weird, like I'm liking them so much more. They're, they're all really well made, mm. most of them. Again, I would eat that. It's quite a rich chocolate in my opinion. It is. Mm. It's good though. Tastes like, I just really like it. Okay. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I think my eyes are streaming that whole time. Right, now's the nerve wrecking part. Right, we'll start at the bottom. At the bottom, okay. And work our way up. You gave it six points, and it's in last place, so six points. I didn't mind it as much, but you didn't like it. It's Cali for oh, Tesco. Oh, Cali, I'm sorry. I know, it's horrible, isn't it? Like, Look how cute her face you've is. You've got, got to tell Cali, tell her to her face. I'm sorry, I didn't like your feet. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Cali. I think it's like kids will love that, because you know when you're a child, you don't mind having like, yeah. Stop making her look at me. I feel bad. <laughs> you don't mind like, like literally hard sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I remember, like, yeah. just peeling. Icing, like, like, <laughs> even fondant icing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like going, oh, oh, oh we're, we're having fruitcake, are we? I'll just peel the icing off and eat that. Yeah. Sorry, Callie. Kids will love it, but yeah. it was just way too much for me. And if you remember, this is the one I thought had a bit of a homemade quality to it. I didn't Maybe mind it so it much. Maybe a homemade cake. In fifth place, with okay. seven points, Clyde. Oh, Clyde. Oh, I'm, oh, I love Clyde. I know, we I'm love sorry, Clyde. I'm sorry, Clyde. We love them all. I equally. know, I'm, I'm actually really attached to them. Yeah. Lawrence, I, I swear Lawrence got me into this. He said anything you can eat with a face, he like forms an attachment to and then can't eat the face. Yeah, but if it's actually physically being created with a face. Like, like he can't eat gingerbread men. No, no. And now for we're back, because Clyde is... Clyde's a bit silly billy looking. He's got like a he's got a little little goofy tooth there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Clyde. You weren't bad though, just not my just not oh, I'm sorry, Clyde. He was he was he was he still got a respectable seven out of oh, ten. Oh well yeah. In fourth place. Yeah. Seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Respectable. Uh it's Colin. Colin. M and S. M and S. Wow. Spencer's Colin. Seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. Mm. Respectable. It's not bad yet. Considering yeah. he's looks the most premium and is the most expensive, mm. I would have hoped to have liked him a tiny bit more. I think, yeah, there was an element of dryness. God, he's got big old feet. Yeah, big solid white chocolate feet, I think, on Colin. The thing is with Colin, you can see there's a lot more chocolate around the outside. The filling is a lot denser. Colin is a more premium product. Bear that in mind, he does look the best. I agree, he does look fabulous. Um, they, they all look all great, do. but this guy, this guy looks good because he's got his little fat thin, fat he thin, He would fat look thin. good like at a kid's party in the middle of the table, you know. Yeah, he is a good, he's a good old centerpiece. Okay, joint second place. Um, both with eight. Charlie. Charlie. He well was done. an eight. Charlie was an eight. Yeah. And Morris was an eight. Wow. Well done, Charlie and Morris. Mm -hmm. Very good. So these two actually beat Colin, I'm shocked. Um, they did. Very good. These two joined second, Morris and Charlie from the co-op. Eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, in which first one place. Like out. Is it that one? Sainsbury's. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. That's the one that you had when That's you were growing up. That's the one I had up. when I was growing up. Maybe wow. there's something psychological there. There but, is. Um, that was so good. You agreed with me. I do agree. I thought this one was, it had a great texture. It did. It was just really nice. Really good, wasn't it? But yeah, that came in first, eight and a half hours. Oh, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so mm. we'll keep that one. Okay. We'll have that one. The rest are going to be donated here, there and everywhere. I'm gonna miss them though, because I'm actually really attached. I've been chomping on their butts. So. Their butts, so I've formed quite a quite relationship a, a link. there. Yeah. The moral of the story, start with Sainsbury's. Yep. If you do want something that actually really looks the part, and kids will eat anything chocolate, won't they? Get a Colin. Especially if it's like a birthday cake. Honestly, you would not be going wrong with any of these. No. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. That was a lot of fun to film. Mm. Keep an eye out because as soon as Cuthbert has made his famous return back to stores, he'll be on this channel quicker than you can say Cuthbert, to be honest. Anyway, we'll see you again really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching and we love you very much. Bye! Bye!